everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Yeah, I was gonna do a Lazzy run, but I'm just showing off what characters I need to be doing. This was a Samson run? What the heck? This was a Samson run I have in my notes? Oh, alright. Alright, I guess it's a Samson run. <laughs> okay! Uh, that's right, I picked Samson because Samson. Mm-hmm. Uh, I generally thought Samson I haven't really been playing and I'm just like I think I was lacking damage at this point and uh, I can't remember if I'm crazy did I take that I feel like I did yeah that's right all right so I took duality because it's such a good set it off song and I'm like let's let's do it so duality early game I personally think is overpowered duality floor one mixed with the chance on a hundred percent deal with the devil next floor slash deal with the angel yeah I'm, I'm taking that and I'm gonna roll with it and I was thinking well I already have decent damage so now I just need a lot of uh, Either a lot of hearts, or I just needed crazy amounts of damage. And normally, I should not have taken on Mushroom. But we, ha we had very good success last run with Odd Mushroom. So I personally just said F it. And um, I just want to do it. If, if that's really going to help me with this, I, I needed to. And I'm shooting the poop because I just need soul hearts at this point, if not money. And uh, I need I need to be smart here. I need to be smart because of I need to go fast. It, it's hush every day. Where I think odd mushroom maybe was the right call because one I'm shooting out so fast, but my range is just garbage. This boss typically kills itself. And as long as I have uh, an HP upgrade, which I did get, I should be fine. At this point, I don't really want to take any uh, any uh, deal with the devil. Because, I, yes, it may sound good on the inside with duality. And there's no way that I could change it. But I'm like, okay, well, I could just be super quick, deal lots of damage... And I, th I think Samson is probably one of the easiest characters to get somewhat anything done with. Now, truly wholeheartedly, I even think Berserk Samson... I think Berserk Samson is going to be one of the most annoying characters to do Hush with. Because y you could just sort of make him do whatever you want. And uh, Berserk really just kills your damage per se, even though... Everybody that I've talked to, everybody that I've talked to, oh man, loves Berserk Samson. Uh, I think truly wholeheartedly, now that I'm sort of dealing with all the characters, I think Tainted Ju Judas is going to be, no, Tainted um, Kane. I believe that's that's Crafting Kane. Yes. Jud Judas has uh, the shadow, I'm pretty sure. Uh, where I'm just like, no, I can't do that. And this is where I really start panicking. I'm like, I gotta do this straight from the heart without getting any damage whatsoever. And just praying that I get good, a good item. And lo and behold, it's one of my most favorite items of all time. Spoon Vendor as Hush, I could ultimately say, is phenomenal. Now, I don't care. I don't care what anybody says. You could zone out with Spoonbender. I've, pr I've proved that before. Where I'm like, there are enemies in this game. Uh, like, now what I was thinking where I'm just like, okay, well, if I get Brimstone homing, I think the game is just done. I have an amazing fiery every time I get hit. Uh, I do mar more damage with Brimstone, and I'm like, well, screw it. So, I, I, I want to be smart here. 
I generally just want to be smart. Because homing, as I've said, like, just like what I'm recording this now, I just turn off my brain. Homing is a fool's fallacy where I, c I, could, j I could just do whatever I want at this point as long as I get health and range. And that's that's all that I wanted right now. And I, I, could, I, could, I could just take from there. I mean, we all need hobbies to just basically turn our brains off at this point. Hoping for a soul heart, and of course I didn't even get it, which is dumb. So, I think also what I was thinking here, uh, I either needed a soul heart, or I need to save my strength card for the boss fight. And I don't even know if I did this correctly, where I'm just like, okay, the strength card gave me all the way till two, uh, all the way till six, but my range is just so bad where I'm like, I'm hoping I could still do this. And then I, then I just panic a lot. Then, then I just panic. And then lo and behold, more cheers up and I get the prayer card. Now, wholeheartedly, this will probably fix my health problem for the rest of the game. This will ultimately help me in the long run. And, I, and I'm okay with that. Why? Wait a minute. Okay, I was going to be like, bro, I'm pretty sure I went through this, uh, the curse room because I felt like I was very powerful. Yeah, that's it. See, I, I remember. I remember. And I'm like, one soul heart could help me win this game. And I'm like, no, it can't, but I will try. <laughs> I should have used the moon guard there, if I'm honest. I should have really used the moon guard, but that's okay. I I feel I feel safe. And with Judas, let me know how you feel about Judas, because Judas is super relatable. Where, really, I didn't bomb the donation machine for that. I feel like I could have maybe done the battery there. But right now, I, you just got to be quick. You got to be extremely quick on your feet even to get fast. I mean, with Hush, in my opinion, you really need to be damaged or you just need to think quick. And I think that's probably my reasoning where I think since I'm going so fast, and I could, I could already tell this is already a truly fast run, where... I either need to go really, really quick and not really think about a lot of things, or I just need to do a crud ton of damage. And at this point, I'm just like, okay, well, I have a decent angel room item. I think, I think I'm going to be okay, un unless if I get something, unless if I get hit really dumb. But duality, I can't really feel like it came into play that much. I mean, it, it, it also gave me uh, a beautiful, not out, but having the chance on getting early, early angel rooms really changes the whole entire run. Because second floor, you're guaranteed to deal with the devil. And I always like that about this game. You always got to say no to the devil once to even get a chance at that angel room. Where it's just like, I am not tempted by power. Yet, Angel Rooms, I personally feel like, are probably one of the the best uh, ways to sort of beat the game. Because you got, I think Holy Mantle uh, could really ultimately win you the game in a weird way. I think um, the, the item that makes you shoot laser beams of light could basically ultimately win you the game and at this point i was just looking for uh a soul heart and i of course could not get it because uh it hates me it, it hates me but i should have probably took that battery and took it from there but i mean it is just one of those things where you can't you can't you sort of need to know and it, it's really against my wishes where I'm just like, I, I, I'm super focused. I can't really talk, which is unfortunate. And I'm, I, I'm nine minutes in already 
not really that far, and I'm like, I, I hated this room. I remember this room so much. I think I honestly gave up, where I'm just like, I'm either gonna get hit here and I can't take that chance. I'm almost positive I did. Or, I think the next room was the exact same room, and I'm like, I can't do this room. Because that, that range down pill really screwed me over. And as I've said, I couldn't really do much of anything with this. Yeah, almost the same room, and I, and I just got so upset. An inner child, also. Now, somebody told me that you had a boyfriend that looks like a girlfriend to me. Um, it generally increased your, your stats on something. Now, I still... I think maybe it increased my range. But I, I do love Inner Child. Now, if I wasn't doing the Hush Run, uh, what I should have done is I should have went to the Beast and did the angel room and took it from there but i i just want to be fast and you know that's all what am i doing oh that's right i'm trying to get another yeah at this point i'm just like well screw it i'm, I'm done yeah may, maybe inner child did increase my run let, let me know because even though i'm i'm playing this back i still don't even know what uh what that did for me and we finally got a range up yeah me me see i can't really tell what our average dps is because of uh uh samson rage gives you damage on how much damage you take and i that's i i think probably see with Judas, Judas has Book of Belial right off the bat, but with Samson, he has range and a lot of health. You get pretty much insane, and now I'm just realizing there's a Tinker Rock that I can't even get to. I'm like, wow. So nice. And that that range up really helped me out. And of course, I no longer got... Oh, that's right! Oh, that, oh, that made me cringe! Oh, that's right. I forgot to proc the flippin' prayer card. Oh, I remember this run. I remember this run. Oh, my hands are over my eyes right now. I cringed at that. I remember I did that, and I cursed so much. Where I'm like, yeah, it's not a big deal. But I literally went to other rooms last for it, so I could get it. Oh, I was so mad at myself. I was so, so livid. And I, I find that funny. I find that funny that that's what triggered this run. I'm like, oh, race. But no, th this, this run is fine. I mean, as I've said, it's already a great run. Because I uh, probably homing tears has to be in my top three items of all time. Maybe, maybe top five. I'm sorry. I, I just love it. I don't think I'd ever turn down homing tears, especially with, uh, with all the memories that I've had over the years with the Binding of Isaac. Remember that glitch where uh, there was a keyhole um, where you could unlock it and uh, it was always the magician card? For, like new players to troll i will never not forget that because i was always hoping like oh, maybe this is the sun card it was never the sun card never in my in my pathetic life it was the sun card it was always the magician and it never even worked well i think you had to wait until repentance or maybe maybe after birth plus maybe after birth plus where it sort of became not not a not a more easier item to get but still people have told me that there are no special items in this game but uh i th like special items now in my heart mean they're special to me gosh darn it and that's all that matters uh there are just items that i personally feel like obviously holding tears isn't gonna win you the game obviously not it's not it's not an instant kill 
It's not. I don't even think... I think the only serious instant kill that I could think of is Dr. Fetus, Holy Mantle, or, um, like, there, there's a there's a few of them, Ipecac with Holy Mantle, I mean, technically, if you're good, you don't even need Holy Mantle, but I feel like you could take it all the way, and there you go, I fixed my wrong, and we got Jesus Shoes, and I think this is personally where I say this is game. I personally feel like this is game to me, where I am about not even 20 minutes in, probably 15 minutes in at this point. Still didn't show the seed. I gotta get, gotta get used to that. I, I, I should get really used to that. And also, please do let me know. And I, and I mean this sincerely. Sincerely, this is a question for you. If you're an Isaac nerd and want to show up this loser up. Uh, what is... So, Contract of Blow gives me double consumables, but it always says at what cost, right? But if I get it in the curse room, is there is there a cost efficiency? Like, is there a penalty for me taking that? Because I'm getting good consumable drops, but I feel like maybe it's supposed to give you less consumable drops, but... You know, if you find it in the deal with the devil, obviously it costs you a, a red heart, and that's that's the cost of it. But if I got it for free, is there really a cost? So I, I'm I'm just I'm just curious. Please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. And now at this point, I got my dream. I have hearts for days, which is very very worrisome. I think if I were redoing this, I probably would have taken more Deal with the Devils. But as I've said, there wasn't really anything that I desired or really wanted. Uh, and I was just like, yeah, whatever. I didn't even know Justice could give you Soul Hearts. But I, I'm like 15 minutes in. I need to rush. But I also knew I don't think personally... Without maybe the sun card, I could be winning this run. Like, we've seen Hush before, and it could drop dank items. I don't know why I said dank. I've never said dank in my life. But I'm like, dank items fit. Like, they're not good items. They're, they're just dank. Alright? They're just god tier items. And this is the first time I ever seen Charged Penny. Ever. I'm like, I don't I I wanna know what other trinkets I'm missing. Because I I got hyped with this, and unfortunately you can't tell, but I was like, what's this? What's this? What in the world is this? Oh, that was a, that was a good one. So if you don't know, I, I wanna be a voice actor. Um I mean we we've all seen Nightmare Before Christmas, right? Jack Skellington? What's this? What's this? I, I don't know, honestly. I think that's also a different actor saying, what's this? But, uh, cult classic. Cult, cult classic, period. End the discussion be you like it or you don't. There's always going to be a fan base for that. Uh, have they ever re-released that? Like, they had to, right? And this is where things get bizarre. This is where... The title comes in the picture, and I'm like, I could rule the world. I could generally rule the world. And keep in mind, I didn't know at this point if this was a good or a bad item. I really did not know. I just knew I had homing lasers, and I could take on the world. And this this was really the test here. Where I'm like, okay. With, uh... With rage, I think anything could be could be fine. Purposely taking damage because I'm just like I need to hurry up, and uh, I'm like I'm fine. I'm fine. My fire rate's great. My damage is nine homing. Like you can't touch me. Give me 100% deal with the angel, and I got the mine. Now I think next floor confuses me. So, how could I get Curse of the Lost if I have the mind and I see all? 
I'm I was I was just curious. I feel like that should be like the black handle in my mind. I truly did. And I'm just like this doesn't make any sense to me. If I know all, okay, I need to not be cursed because I know all. Like I I don't know like if I don't know if that's me, but I get it. It's a curse. But I'm like, bro, this makes no sense. This makes no sense whatsoever. Guppy's tail sorta, sorta befuddles me because I'm just like, well, there's no way that I could get Guppy two runs in a row. I don't even think I've done that purposely, but I'm just like, screw it. I have, uh, I have contract from below. And, uh, I, I personally felt like, okay, maybe, maybe we could get something. But what I didn't realize is, hey, guess what? Uh, the, the golden chest double as well. The, the golden chest double, and I don't like it. I, I don't like it. I should have probably waited for that bomb. But e everything, everything I feel like is going millhouse. Millhouse all the way. Now, what I really didn't want to do, but I also really wasn't truly really wholeheartedly paying attention, is I didn't want to get all red hearts. Because I'm just like, well, I need... I need soul hearts for the Polaroid to take effect. But also, I'm just like, well, it's the big show. And I need to get stuff done. So, I could have done Judgment, but I was thinking to myself, well, I'm just going to get an HP upgrade. And I didn't really need that. So, I'm 20 minutes in. Just barely... I don't even know what I'm doing here. What am I doing? Where am I going? What are you doing? What are you doing? This is good enough... To, to win the run, sir. Oh, I didn't get the item room. What did I get? What, like, this is a winnable run. Alright, I went back for holy water. And I think, oh, wow, that's really good. Because that takes it out of the... Out of the pool. And I, I, I can never leave uh, Vault unplugged. I, I need to always take that item... And for once in my pathetic life, I'm like, let me help the donation machine because I've been really mean to it. That's right. But I'm like, I'm going to take this penny. But no, I, I'm like 20 minutes in. I think I could beat the womb in 10 minutes simply because uh, I said to myself, I have the body. Like, I, I, I could do this. And I knew I was doing tons of damage. And nothing could probably stop me. Like, I think it could just get insane. This is winnable from here. Because 9 times out of 10, what happens in the shop of Hush is you get a god tier item and you're fine. And I'm just like, screw it, might as well. So next floor, I could personally get a deal with the devil... And just go ham. So I have nine minutes. I'm panicking at this point. Because I'm like, okay. This is God tier run. I can do it all. I, I can win. I was I was like hyping myself up. I'm like, yeah, let's do it, bro. Like, I'm like Vince Russo up in here. I'm like, I, I could do and I could do anything. I, I I could do anything. Nothing could stop me. I'm killing everything. Now. I'm getting to the point where I'm like, I, I'm not realizing it, but I'm like, I need keys. I need keys for the life of me. Uh, and of course, I don't, I don't listen to my future self at all. Because, honestly, I'm just like, well, I either need damage or I need a lot of keys. And, like I said, the keys are what helped me out because I'm I'm hoping for the end game. Now, oh no, the, the boss was over here. What am I talking about? I'm sorry. I'm sorry past me. I'm so, so sorry. 
I questioned you. Okay, so I was actually going the wrong way. I don't know why present me, which is me now, thinking that I screwed up. Wow, I'm an idiot. But that's okay. And then we get Fate, a beautiful item. And I, di I didn't take PJs because I honestly said, well, that's not going to help me at all. And I'm like, wow, three minutes. And I'm already kicking Batuti. Uh, I'm like, I could, I could get to Hush. I could get to Hush so fast. And for whatever banal reason, I'm just like, bro, I I need I need keys, and I think I go back. No, 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 that's right. That's I generally said, Lord of the Pit, screw it. <laughs> that's right. I I generally said, Lord of the Pit, and that's right. I take PJs. I don't go look for keys at all. Uh, simply because I'm like, I could rush this. I I could rush this. Uh, now, considering I have the inner one and uh, everything in between, I think I just go on a hunting mission for keys at this point. I'm like, I don't need that, but I'll take it because it's tears. And that's it. Like, I'm running a powerful homing tier run. And, uh, I just don't care. Like, what are you gonna do to me? Like, you can't hurt me at all. And that, that's how you know that you're sick. You're sick and twisted, and that's where I panic. This is the moment of my life, of this run, where I panic. Because I'm like, I have no keys! I'm not even thinking about Hush at this point. I'm just like, I need keys! Oh, man. But no, Zap. Yo, shoutouts to Zap Comics, by the way. My my childhood um, gaming store, where it, it was my first ever childhood moment where I learned what bartering was and selling co uh, selling collectibles. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget. I had I had Pokemon cards, and I'm just like, well, uh, I'll I'll trade them at Zap's Comics years and years ago. And I had like 40 bucks store credit. And I'm like, oh yes. And then I never ever got, like I never used the credit at all. It, it was, it was bliss. And I traded, I traded Pokemon cards for nothing at that point. And I, I don't even think like maybe it could have been like a hollow Venusaur. I remember I had a hollow Venusaur that I love, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't tell you what what Pokemon cards I had. I could tell you what Yu-Gi-Oh cards I had because I had way too many. I didn't even pay attention to Pokemon cards back in the day. I didn't want to feel the fad. I'm like, man, all I want is a gold starter Exodia, and that's, that was my dream. I was that loser that loved the, the Max Steel action figures. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And at this point, I was just like, okay, well, I knew it was 30 minutes. I need at least four keys. Uh, yeah, no, they're, they're, I, if you don't know Max Steel, I think they tried to reboot it a few years ago, which was a joke. Nothing like the original. Basically, think of Ken, but, uh, mixed with Baywatch. That's it. I remember there was a figure, which I, I would love to have again, but, uh, it was, it was just real funny to me where he had a glowing bicep and I, I remember that clear as day. I was a weird kid. I was a weird kid. My problem was um, my sister sort of liked Barbies. Sort of. Like she wasn't a big fan or anything, but you know, they thought, you know, she's a girl, get her Barbies. I remember I used to do this thing to really upset her where I took the clothes off the Barbie a lot. And I always did it to Max Steel as well. Oh man, yeah. I, even even talking about it out loud concerns me still to this day. I'm like, I should be a little concerned on what I did. But uh, hey, I mean, it, it is what it is. And I'm like, three minutes left. I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry right now. But yeah, I mean, let let me know if you did that as well. 
because I think it was from the same company Hasbro at that point. It's It had to be. Now, I don't know why I did this. I have no idea. But I'm like, okay. I don't even know why I'm doing this right now. Why am I doing this? What? What am I doing? I think I'm trying to get keys. But why did I do the blood bang? Huh? Yo, I am so confused. And I remember just watching the time. What am I doing? Tears up. I don't remember this at all. Okay. I got pyro and I, oh, that's right, that's right. I felt like I could just leave because I'm just like, well, I have a golden key now and nothing could stop me. Like I I knew, I knew I had 30, 30, uh, 30 minutes to do so, but th this is even risking it going back. I'm like, bro, this is nuts. I want to know what was in the boss room, too. And at this point, I mean, it's fine. It's fine now, but I'm like, this was really dumb getting super close. Granted, it looks like I'm at least a minute off. But, um, that's insane. Can I get 69 cents again? That'd be a, that would be a dream. That's right. I panicked and I'm like, where's Hush? And look, we finally we finally got it. Now, I don't remember any of this part. I I don't. Wow, I'm shooting so fast. So what what happened here? All right, so I took book Oh, that's right. That I remember this as well. I remember this insane crazy run. So I, I screw up here a little bit. I remember this part clear as day. I take that and then I use this for no reason. For, for no real reason at all, I take that pill. And I finally get up to the highest denomination that I've ever done. And then, come on. I know what you do. Come on, come on. All right, then I then I then I do my patented bomb everything in the room scenario because I have 99 problems, but a secret room ain't one. Come on, there you go. There's one. There's two. There's three. Like, look how fast. Like, I'm assuming, like, I'm already here, so I said screw it. You, like, you can't take this away from me. And then I then I do a very bad move, and I do. Uh, I switch bombs and keys. Granted, it doesn't really matter. But this is how easy the fight is. Booger tears, homing tears, tech. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. Like, my damage is only to four at this point. And look at it. Like, you can't stop me at all. But my fa my the question of the day is, let, let's get back to priority. While we're while I'm devastating Hush right now, what is your favorite action figure of all time? Be a brand, what you have. Now I'm very curious. Max Steel will always have a place in my heart, and I don't even know why I got Max Steel. I don't. Like very few trips I remember, and I don't know how I found Max Steel. I don't know if it was Toys R Us back in the day or what. I thought he was cool. I don't know. But I remember uh, when I had a little bit of chump change, I went to a super Walmart and I was a very dumb kid and I told this story once before. I, I was a huge fan of Ben 10 at one point of my life. And it was the OG Omnitrix what made him turn into an alien and I bought it for maybe $15 $20 or something and I'm just like wow what is steel I could turn into aliens 
for real like i generally was like i could be accelerate that that was my dream i'm like i could be accelerate my favorite uh hero and uh yeah it, it i one it did not make me turn into a hero at all J just a fun fact i am not an alien unfortunately i'm not an alien whatsoever but uh i remember that and uh, I think I think maybe Max Steel and Barbies were maybe in the same aisle, and I was a brat and I was trying to be like I want one, I want one, probably probably something like that. Uh, and the only other purchase that I remember getting as a kid, I think it was either for Christmas or something, probably Toys R Us again. Uh, I had the Yu-Gi-Oh dual disc. I I remember that, and. Um, I, w I was home alone a lot as a child, and what I did, this was during the season of Yu-Gi-Oh, where they w got trapped in the virtual reality, and that that's one of my favorite arcs, because I was a loser child. And we got Revenge Baby and uh, Revenge Band, I believe. Or Blind Band. And I'm like, screw it, I'm doing Delirium because I'm a beast. Um, and uh, when nobody was home... Because I, I, via, if I got off of school early, I was, I, I got home like two hours, three hours before. And I used to set up the cards, like, the back toward me. And I'd shuffle my deck, so I had my dual, like, my, my, uh, deck in my dual disc destroying my cards. Because I didn't know what card sleeves were. Uh, but also... Uh, I, I closed my eyes and I put them behind me like I was in virtual reality and I had like my 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 cards in my hand It was amazing and um, Fun fact for you. I know you don't care, but I'm gonna tell you a fun fact some of my favorite cards of all time Celtic Guardian baby dragon and red eyes are some of my favorite cards of all time I wasn't I wasn't a dark ma magician fan like don't get me wrong blue eyes and, and dark magician were cool but I was a I, I was Joey Wheeler, obviously. My name's Joe. I, I'm, I'm from New Jersey. He's from Brooklyn. Um, you know, we we like the luck, and he was just such a bad duelist. I'm like, yes, that is me. And Celtic Guardian, because I think I could cosplay as Celtic Guardian. Real talk. Um, but yeah, I'm just like those are some of my favorite cards of all time. But I had like really powerful cards, right? So, like, when I'm facing them and I'm turning them around, like, oh, I summon Celtic Guardian or, um, God, I forget his name, but it, it's, it's the goofy character from Joey's deck, 500 attack, 1200 defense, and he has a wing, not wing guard, but he's something, and I always used to draw that card, and, like, and, like, what I did is if the power, if the monster was more powerful than me, I would take damage, I'm like, no! Like, I was such a loser child, uh, but I, I was a loner child. I'm like, well, my my ex-best friend kicks my butt at Pokemon. I don't want to play Pokemon. Um, and I'm just like, well, all right. So I'll, ju I'll just do, um, I'll, I'll just do Yu-Gi-Oh, and I'll play it that way. And here, here's where I get creative, where I'm just like, I didn't realize at the time I already had max damage, so my damage was 10 homing mixed with booger shot. Like I, I'm, you're TKO at this point. You're done. So I, I was just very powerful. So uh, I used to cheat at Yu-Gi-Oh a lot when like GX came out. There was a card with uh, Avion, and he was shooting three feathers. And like, I was just like, uh, th th this card, this card does 3,000 damage to you directly, I win. <laughs> and, and I'll never forget that. Looking back on it, I'm like, I was a scumbag child. <laughs> I was, I was like, granted, it was his fault, sort of, in a way that he didn't check the card. But I'm like, I'm not reading this. I'm not reading this at all. Uh, I'm like, Avion, Avion's awesome. Uh, I also, I think every guy at one point does this. Uh, I did a waifu deck, so if it had uh, like, I like it was just rude. Where I'm just like, you got beat by girls, 
And like looking back on it, some of those cards were like some of the most powerful cards. I think that's probably why I have a thing for Amazonians. Just saying, just saying real talk. How could you not? I, I think there was a flute Amazonian. I don't know. No, nor that I care. I should really watch GX. Hey, does anybody want to rewatch GX with me? I'm not seeing GX is better than the OG. There's a lot more filler in my opinion. But I think GX is pretty da gosh darn good. Did we just like rant about loser talk? Like weeb talk for like a good, a good minute? I think we did. So this is where I become stupid and I'm like, wow, this is a really good trinket. It's not a really good trinket at all. Just a fun fact for you. It sucks. And I get really, I get really upset and I just drop it. But yeah, no, that, that, that I, I blame Zach's, Zap's comics for giving me the first taste. Uh, Cause like, I think back in, back in my day, um, I think tins were cheaper than most of the, yeah, yeah. I, I used to buy a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh tins for like 20 bucks. And my dad always used to yell at me, like, what is this crap? Like, what is this cards? And, um, there was a Black Luster, not, not a Black Luster Soldier, a, uh, Black Skull Dragon Tin that I wish I had. Not the cards, I just wanted the tin now as an adult. And I'm almost positive. Now, I, I, granted, I'm not really looking hard. But I think there was a Joey Wheeler Red Eyes Black Dragon tin that I would really like still to this day. I hope there's not a uh, an official. See, that's the, that's why I hated Yu-Gi-Oh at this point. Now that I'm looking back on it, I don't think there was any plushies of Yu-Gi-Oh. And uh, I'm a big fan of plushies. I had a plush phase. Absolutely. I still do. I still have my for alligator. I still have some of my... I don't have any of my original. Gralgator has been my longest plush. Um, for a while, I have a mini Tauros that's been with me for a few years. Uh, but I, I don't think Yu-Gi-Oh ever had official plushes growing up. And if that's true, and if you're a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, please do let me know. Let me know if I was wrong. Because I'm almost positive that they didn't. And, I, and that's why I personally think Pokemon did so much better merch sale wise because Yu-Gi-Oh had big figures, don't get me wrong. Who did, like they had the dual disc, it was great. But I think personally they didn't really have OG plushes. Uh, Cause I knew for a fact one of my friends uh, recommended I get a plush from Etsy because there was no Yu-Gi-Oh plushes back in the day, and I would, I would, even if it's crappy, you know, I remember having a 2000s or 1999 Jigglypuff and Coffee plush of the OG series, and it was crappy, but I'm like, this is, this is cool. This is something I could hold. This is, this isn't a toy. This is something I could hold and sleep with in my race car bed and going vroom vroom. Yes, I did have a race car bed. Are you, are you judging me right now? Don't judge me. Don't judge me at all. I mean, you could. You could. I mean, I mean, be jealous. Be jealous of my race car bet. All right. But, no, that, 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 that's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I, I'm, I'm content. I'm content. Now, here's where we finally figure out, uh, first of all, my theory is, why is it always Gish that's like one of the top two? Why is Gish always here? That's what I personally want to know. But, I finally figure out what Era Walk does. And let, let's let's find out with me, shall we? So, it's either a Fool or Era Walk. Era Walk makes everything slow, which I didn't know. Like, Era Walk... Earwalk reminds me of I'm just drowsy and I actually panic at this fight But I also forgot that I have the wafer so I'm like there's no way I Should be losing here. I'm like I already have max damage. I'm fine 
And I remember, I'm like, if I die, and that there was a bad trip pill on the floor, I'm gonna hate myself. But also, I sort of did want to die, because I also have the inner inner child. I'm like, you can't, you can't beat me. But I also called Delirium some of the most biggest BS of my life. And that's okay. That's okay. Because it only takes one Larry Jr. like this to basically say, hey, you're done. And look at Bo Boogers. Look at Boogers. It's killing everything. And I personally feel like it was Boogers and not my tears whatsoever. Like, there's no way... If, if, like, my damage was that high, and I don't know how Booger stacks, but I, I'll take it. And I love it. So, that is another fight done. Samson is officially done. And I'm pretty happy. Another character done. I'm, I'm really proud about that. Don't I write a me message? Yeah. Oh, what, what am I writing? Hello. Hello. Hello, past me. Hello. Oh, yeah, that's right. I tried to do goodbye, and then I ran into the chest, and I'm like, hello, good. But thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been Joe Wild Plays. If you did like what you saw and heard today, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Please let me know if there's anything better that I could do. And I truly do hope you enjoyed. If you like what you saw and heard today, I think I already said like, comment, and subscribe. But please leave a comment on the question of the day. And I will see you all tomorrow. And take care and bye-bye.